Okay, yesterday, a person that I love hurt my feelings, right? But the day before yesterday, right, to me, which was a couple of days ago, my niece, for whom I love, told me is what I say. So then it changed my perspective. See, so before she told me that, right, I was still gathering evidence against the darkness that surrounds me because the people that I love saw me lose everything, but they didn't come to court to see me win everything. So I didn't read the Bible and I didn't read the Quran before I defended myself. See, so I not understand that the people who around me and love me may have thought that I was crazy. <laughs> see, I'm saying, oh, see, but I'm trying to tell them, I'm saying, hey, I was gathering evidence so that the public defender who didn't defend me when a real public defender come, I would still be where that person could help me because I realized that the people around me didn't know how to help me. So that's why I'm trying to tell my niece and my nephew and then all of the children that I'm seeing saying, hey, do you know who I am? Now it sounds arrogant, right? But I'm saying, hey, I did this in court. Look, do y'all not understand that if I didn't do it the way I did it, I would be afraid of y'all. Like Jesus said, he could not walk no more openly in front of the Jews. I'm saying because of the way I did it, I don't, I feel comfortable walking around, around citizens of the state of Florida or citizens in the United States of America because of my testimony. See, I'm saying if I committed a crime against you, then I would be afraid of you. See, see what I'm saying? Because I would think, oh man, he know I hurt his brother, or he know I hurt his sister, or he know, see? But I, hey man, see, that's why I hung up the phone because I didn't understand, you know, I understood what he was saying. He was saying, well, they barred you out of the courts. And I'm saying, he said, well, what did you do, bro? And I'm saying, well, I've been trying to tell you for 15 years. And then he was like, well, man, don't nobody want the freedom. And I'm saying, okay, well, are you mad at me because I'm free and I'm offering freedom? <laughs> like, I'm saying, well, why are you mad with me? Right? See, now I'm saying, well, if I'm on trial, if they bond me out of court, why you got me on trial? Didn't you see that they took my house? Oh man, that's over. And I'm saying, well, you've been saying that for 15 years. When that's gonna be over? See, cause I'm saying, where is the knowledge coming from your side? But people say, well, I don't understand what you talking about. And I'm saying, I, well, what more can I say? Like, I'm saying, well, I just showed you I went through court and you saying they barred me from court. I'm saying, well, do they bar you? Now you trying to say, I think I'm better than you. And I'm saying, see, how can I get out of your understanding? And then I go to the Bible and, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm really getting persecuted then. And then I'm saying, well, now I know the Bible. So the Bible has become a part of my life, just like it's a part of yours because you made me learn it. But you forced it on me because you wasn't going to help me. And now you really not going to help me because you say I'm judging you just like the judge said I judged him and her. And I'm saying, yes, I did judge the judge.
both male and female, both black and white. I'm saying yes, but I did it by the authority given to me by the United States government when I was 18 years old, they gave me an oath to defend the Constitution against all enemies, foreign and domestic. I'm saying, do you not see my defense of the Florida Constitution and the Florida Bill of Rights in the venue where it's supposed to be defended? I defended it in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida on August 12, 2008 at 10.40 in the morning. That's why they throw me out. They barred me from the courts because I defended the Constitution. So I'm saying I'm a veteran and I'm saying, well, if you a preacher, a minister, a pope, a rabbi, a cardinal, a, 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 a monk, or whatever you are, well, why are you coming against me for doing my duty? See, I'm saying, look, you want me to be derelict on my duty because you derelict on your duty? So if we all derelict on our duty, well, who teaching our children honor, integrity, valor, responsibility? You know what I'm saying? Like, who's setting the standard? if ain't nobody setting a standard. So now I'm in setting my standard, but what about my wife, my daughter, my son? You all done came into my life because I allowed you, and that's what I'm saying. If I would have been like you, you still would have been like you, jealous, hateful, or whatever this is. Because at some point, you got to see, because you said they barred me out of court. And I'm saying, well, that, well, how did they take my house? How did they take my life? If you barred me out of court, then you know, but then do you know what due process is? And then that's when they get mad with me. And that's what I'm telling my children. See, I'm saying that's why I ain't never want to be smart. Understand, I've been around these people all my life, man. See, they smart and you stupid. But see, I'm saying, so listen, man, but y'all believe in Jesus. Y'all believe in all this stuff. I don't, so I got to get mine. I got to do what I got to do, and, and I did it the way I did it. And now look at y'all. Y'all coming against me after I defeated the principality, but I didn't know nothing about you wasn't supposed to be against the flesh and bone. I'm saying, look, I'm flesh and bone, and I defeated the principality, and I came out here teaching about my way just like you teaching about Jesus' way. And I'm saying, well, we both teaching, but the only difference is I'm teaching about me and you teaching about somebody else. 